What's up, people? JB the drummer. Today we have a suggestion by J Floyd. I mean, it reads, Brothers, brothers, brothers. I don't think it sounds like that. He sounds like, yeah, brothers, brothers, brothers. As a fan of all this music, born in 1979, and a black man, very rare combo, I suggest a few songs to Enema. Well, we've done that one. Deftones, My Own Summer. We haven't done that one. Rage Against the Machine, Freedom. That's what we're going to do. Um, I have tons more, but you are now dealing with the Morpheus slash Neo of the Matrix, or at least an interested audience member. By the way, you don't have the cult of personality on here for living color. I don't know why my accent changed in between all of that, but um, that's what it is. Thank you, Jay Floyd. Um, we're going to take, you, you greedy man, we're going to take one of your suggestions. Um, it's going to be Rage Against the Machine, Freedom. <laughs> Wow, let me turn this up. More in the cans, please. Tom Morello, yeah, his guitar. I need someone to find me another band that has the tone of, or guitarist that has the tone of Tom, Tom Morello's guitars in every mix I've heard so far is just so beautiful. The guitar is just like the, ugh. And the riffs are just stupid. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Gear shift. Come on, engineer. Those guitars. Come on, man. Alright, I'm just gonna say, make one little thing about the rapping. I'm trying to enjoy it, but obviously it's an it's a it's an old flow. 
the way I forgot the name of the the vocalist, but the rapping it's very it's an old way of rapping, and it if you were to do that today, people say it's you know corny, um people would say it's um dated, but I'm um, obviously I'm trying to uh appreciate it for what it was back then. I'm finding it hard because it's like it's a bit elementary and the and and it's yeah, but I'm trying to let me just. Play, come and play. This drummer seems to like those percussions. Okay. Yeah, right. Freedom. Yeah. Freedom. Yeah. Freedom. Yeah. Whoa, how is the drummer playing with his face facing the other way? Wow. 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 Wowie. Wow. 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 Wowie. Man. That is my second or third ever Rage Against the Machine song. And one common thread is that the the production never fails. It always and I'm I'm always a lover of like engineering and stuff like that. I feel like they're the unsung heroes of of music you know they do their stuff in the background and it makes the music sound the way it sounds you know and the textures that's the the audio the audio prowess of like the 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 the, the music is just incredible like it, it everything they're trying to convey the musicians every the guitarist bass drums and vocalists everything they're trying to convey is perfectly being executed audibly because of the engineer for me like he's really helping them push like those guitar riffs wouldn't sound so crunchy and in your face and aggressive if it wasn't mixed properly or if it wasn't um that session wasn't engineered properly as great as tom morello is as a guitarist it wouldn't have sounded like that if the engineer did not do his job and didn't you know do his assignment so that's what i want to say first thing first like incredibly audi audibly it's incredible i would love to be able to make music on that level of like crispness now obviously tom morello yeah he killed it for me again I, the reason why i even know his name is because charles loves him like he's all this everything we try we do personally with what we do he's always you know major influence um the drummer yeah 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 he held it down he held it down for show for show for show there wasn't anything that i was like oh my goodness but he definitely held it down gave it the energy that it, that it needed bass man also 
it's very hard to um talk about the rest of the instruments when the guitarist is is so heavily you know just an influence on the music you know you could also you could almost just listen to that without anything else you know it's that great um vocals again mm, ah it's difficult man because i would love to hear what the, the the rapper would do if it was like 21st century you know flow not really but you know what i mean it's like you like let's not let's not play ourselves here we know that that flow is a very old flow and a hippity hoppity like it's hard it's hard it's very hard as a listener and someone that's come from hip-hop and r&b and grime and and that sort of music where flow is such an important thing to now listen to rage and not be distracted by the the flow do you get what I'm saying? If you're if you're a hip hop guy and you've you've come from hip hop and you listen to Rage, like you'll be lying if you said it was it wasn't a distraction or it didn't phase you at all. You didn't think about it like, oh my gosh, that's very elementary. But with that being said, I'm trying to listen to it with the mind and intentionality of the fact that it was made a while ago. And with that being said. I do think it is dope. Again, I couldn't hear the lyrics and I don't really pay attention to lyrics on the first listen. It's impossible to because something's got to give. Um, and I always prefer to listen to the music over the lyrics first time. I will definitely 100% get into the lyrics because this band, um, everyone always says you've got to listen to the lyrics. That's the whole driving force of the band, the lyrics, what they're saying in tandem with the music so i'm gonna do a separate video where i just get into the lyrics and i'm just reading and seeing what's being said here um so for me this song was um more of the same just great it was just great audibly i need to get in the lyrics before i can give my complete um uh, analysis but so far musically sonically it it, it oh. paradise paradise love it love it but yeah you guys drop me some more rage against the machine songs i'm not gonna lie every song so far i've listened to is got the big heavy riff on it and then that seems to be their bread and butter just coming up with these crazy riffs pauses breaks and suspense and then hitting you in the face i would love to hear something a little bit more a little a little bit more different not too far off but something you know, I'm. You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. Maybe I've listened to too many of the the same type of songs from them. But drop me some 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 um album gems that people don't really recommend. You know, the ones that you don't really know. A lot of people don't really know because they don't listen to the albums. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.